Hi, it's Lou from Christian Faith and Fiction. Today I want to share with you some Christian fiction books that I could find that are releasing in September 2024. It is a bumper month this month, back after the summer break I guess for a lot of um, publishers. So we've got quite a few books to have a look at today. As always, I haven't read any of these books myself, so I can't tell you what the content is like or if there's anything in them that might be problematic. Um, I've put them into different genres, so feel free to skip ahead to the ones you want to watch. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please do consider subscribing and give the video a like if you find it useful. Write down in the comments any of the books that you listen to today that you might want to read in the future. Let me know those. So in Mystery and Suspense, Lethal Standoff by Diane Mills releases on the 3rd of September and is published by Tyndale Fiction. Justice can be elusive. Family secrets can be deadly. The stakes are high and the clock is ticking in a volatile criminal case filled with unanswered questions. And Carrington Reed is running short on time to piece together clues that will solve the puzzle. Hostage negotiator Carrington Reed is called to the scene when reports come in that 15 hostages are being held by the Kendricks brothers in an abandoned house in South Texas. When she arrives on site, Carrington quickly learns that the brothers are armed and refuse to release their victims, a group of undocumented immigrants, until the local police identify their father's murderer. Working closely with Levi Elrich, a handsome investigative reporter who has covered some of Carrington's negotiations in the past. She finds herself being undeniably drawn to him. Carrington digs deeper into the death of the Kendricks' father and begins to notice that some details surrounding his death aren't adding up. As Carrington investigates the brothers' claims and tries to piece together their motives for taking innocent people captive, it soon becomes clear that they are trying to hide something and that revenge for their father's death may not be what they're really bargaining for after all. To protect the hostages and ensure the brothers don't carry out the rest of their sinister plot, Carrington must get to the bottom of one, of, of one family secret and the truth they're trying so hard to hide before time runs out. Montana Hidden Deception by Amity Steffen releases on the 24th of September and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. A murderer lies in wait, a witness in their sights. Nurse Nina Montgomery finds herself evading gunfire in the woods of Montana after unknowingly stumbling upon a man burying evidence in, of his crimes. When slashed tyres and an explosion make it clear that the criminal knows Nina's identity, Detective Matteo Bianchi, Bianchi? Bianchi races to search for a deadly assailant who will stop at nothing to silence Nina and keep the truth hidden. Can they brave the wilderness and unmask a hidden killer or will they find themselves the next victims? Deadly Secrets by Kathy McDavid releases on the 24th of September and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. And I found two different covers for this on Amazon and Goodreads. A rancher searching for answers uncovers a town's sinister secrets. Rancher Ridge Burnham unearths a gun and a strong box of cash on his property, possible leads in his father's unsolved murder. The sheriff's department has ignored the case for years, but rookie de deputy Elena Tomes is, de is determined to prove herself by helping him find the truth. Faced with the town's sordid history of drug running, Elena and Ridge must work together and trust each other. Now this decades-old ca cold case will expose the rot in their small ranching community and the secrets that someone will kill for. Canine Ranch Protection by Darlene L. Turner releases on the 24th of September and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. A Killer on the Loose A canine keeping watch Police Constable Izzy Tremblay knows her father's death was no accident, so when she finally discovers a lead and is immediately attacked, her suspicions are confirmed. The ambush leaves her in the hospital with three hours of crucial memory missing, which she knows hold the key to finding her father's murderer. For protection, she takes refuge with her ex-partner, Austin Murray, 
on his canine ranch while she races to uncover the truth, but with danger still lurking, can they stay alive long enough to take down a killer? Texas Revenge Target by Jill Elizabeth Nelson releases on the 24th of September and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. Hiding in the Texas desert with a vengeful cartel in pursuit. After Texas Ranger Brianna Maguire catches up with the fugitive she's hunting, she finds herself ensnared in the crosshairs of a revenge-driven cartel and evading a sniper attack. Cameron Wolf, a man in hiding and with a bounty on his head, offers Bree shelter only for Cameron's secrets and Bree's attackers to catch up with them both. On the run in the Texas desert, danger stalks them at every turn. Can they outwit their relentless enemies before they both lose their lives? Guarded by the Marshal by Sherry Stover releases on the 24th of September and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. Tracking a fugitive and shielding an infant. When police chief Danny Fontaine gets an emergency call, she never expects to be ambushed by gunfire or to find her friend's abandoned baby. Now Danny must keep the child safe while evading assailants and investigating a leak in her department, and that means working with Deputy U.S. Marshal Beckham Walsh, the man who almost destroyed her career. Protecting a child while searching for stolen weapons becomes more perilous at every turn, and with a target on their backs and multiple suspects, it could be their deadliest mission yet. Tracing a Killer by Sharon Dunn releases on the 24th of September and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. A canine team in the crosshairs and seeking justice. While tasked with protecting Trevor Gage from a serial killer, canine officer Hannah Scott inadvertently puts a second cold case murderer on their trail. The man who drowned Hannah's childhood friend is back and he wants to make Hannah his next victim. Guarding Trevor becomes a survival mission once they both become the target of ruthless criminals. On a remote island with only each other to rely on, there's nowhere to run, and with twice the deadly traps, any misstep could prove fatal. In historical fiction, When the Mountain Crumbled by Angela K. Couch releases on the 1st of September and is published by Barber Fiction. Discipline and rules are the foundation on which Samantha Ingalls has built her life, the life of a spinster school teacher in a small mining town in the Canadian Rockies. All that crumbles from her grasp when part of a mountain crashes down on their community. Constable David Harty has little patience for the strict school mum, but has no choice to, but to leave his three young nieces in her care while he tries to discover the fate of his brother. Already the girls have lost their mother and a brother to the landslide and require comfort and love while they await the fate of their father possibly buried in the coal mine. With a mountain looming over their heads, threatening more lives, the town scrambling to save who they, can, who they can from the rubble, can hearts find healing, both for their own sakes and the children in their care. Virginia by Shannon McNear releases on the 1st of September and is published by Barber Fiction. The white doe of the outer banks grows into womanhood. Return to the what-if questions surrounding the lost colony and explore the possible fate of Virginia Dare, the first English child born in the New World. What happened to her after her grandfather John White returned to England and the colony he established disappeared into the mists of time? Legends abound, but she was indeed a real girl who, if she survived to adulthood, must have also become part of the legacy that is the people of the Outer Banks. In the spring of 1602, by English Reckoning, Ginny, as she is called by family and friends, is 14 and firmly considered a grown woman by the standards of the people. Over the past 10 years and more, she has watched the beautiful give and take of the Kurawotan, apologies if that's pronounced incorrectly, and other native peoples with the English who came from the, across the sea. She's enjoyed being the darling of both English and Kurawotan alike, but a stirring deep inside her will not be put to rest. Through, the, through encounters with other native peoples, a brush with the Spanish, and searching the depth of her own heart as suitors come calling, she must learn to stand not only as the daughter of Eleanor and Ananias Dare, but also as a child of God who gives her courage to trust whatever the path of her life might bring. 
The Cloverton Charade by Sarah E. Ladd releases on the 3rd of September and is published by Thomas Nelson. A house party in Regency, England provides the perfect opportunity for two rival antiquity brokers to scope out a potentially valuable collection while trying to keep their attraction at bay. Alicia Brannan's knowledge of antiquities is unparalleled, having learned everything she needs to know from her broker father. She longs to use that knowledge to make a future for herself, but as a woman, her options are limited. Until the day a former client who happens to be the previous mistress of Cloverton Hall approaches Alicia about evaluating an obscure private collection. But there is a catch. The evaluation must be conducted in secrecy to prevent the widow's nephew, the new master of Cloverton Hall, from having knowledge of it. Alicia sees this as her own, her one and only chance to prove her worth, so she agrees to attend a house party at Cloverton Hall and conduct the evaluation covertly. The younger son of England's foremost antiquities purveyor, Lucas Avery, represents the future of his family business. When he learns that the new master of Cloverton Hall intends to liquidate his deceased uncle's impressive collection, Lucas is determined to be the broker who oversees the sale. The new master of Cloverton Hall invites Lucas to a house party on the estate, during which time he will have full access to the collection. Lucas jumps at the opportunity for it if successful he stands to make a great deal of money as well as solidify his family's future. Alicia and Lucas both arrive at the house party under the guise of guests and quickly recognise each other as business rivals, raising their suspicions. After they conduct their individual assessments, it becomes clear to them both that some of the pieces in the collection are, are counterfeit. They reluctantly join forces to understand the scope of the deception. As work brings them closer together, an undeniable bond begins to form. Then, when one of the most famous pieces in the collection is broken during the house party, everyone is suspect. Both Alicia and Lucas must decide how, the, how much they are willing to risk not only their professional reputations, but also their hearts. A Token of Love by Carrie Taransky releases on the 3rd of September and is published by Bethany House. In 1885, London, Lillian Fremount embarks on a treacherous journey to reunite with her long-lost niece, who was abandoned at the Foundling Hospital eight years ago. Fueled by her sister's plea and armed with the gold token that identifies her niece, Lillian teams up with the investigative reporter Matthew McGiven to expose the grim reality of the shadowed streets of London. As Lillian and Matthew unravel the mystery of Alice's disappearance, their partnership blossoms into one of shared purpose, an undeniable attraction. In present-day London, Janelle Spencer finds herself unexpectedly running the founding museum. When filmmaker Jonas Conrad arrives to document the museum's history, their collaboration takes a surprising turn as they uncover articles from the past that shed light on a haunting connection to the present. As Janelle becomes caught between exposing the truth and protecting the museum's reputation, she must decide if she can risk everything for love and justice. Christmas at Sugar Plum Manor by Rosanna M. White releases on the 3rd of September and is published by Bethany House. As the beloved stepdaughter of the Earl of Castleton, Lady Mariah Lyons cherishes her home at Plumfield Manor, but her idyllic world will be threatened when the estate passes to Cyril Lightbourne, a childhood friend she hasn't seen or heard from in years. Once Mariah dreamed their old friendship would kindle into something more, but that was before she heard that Cyril was courting the cruel-hearted Lady Pearl. Now Mariah is willing to welcome him as a friend and pray he will finally be the heir her stepfather needs, but she'll keep her heart locked safely away from anyone with such poor taste. Due to misunderstandings, Cyril Lightbourne has long avoided returning to Plumford Manor, yet he reluctantly arrives in time for Christmas. When his friendship with Lady Mariah reignites, he finds himself torn between his affection for her and her family's distance towards him because of Lady Pearl, a woman he'd rather forget. Then more trouble arrives in the form of a Danish lord on a mission to win Mariah's hand by Christmas and to disgrace Cyril in the process. Waiting for Christmas by Lynn Austin releases on the 3rd of September and is published by Tyndale Fiction. 
in this hope-filled Gilded Age Christmas novella from best-selling author Lynn Austin, the year is 1901, and the hustle and bustle of the holidays is descending on New York's Fifth Avenue. For the first time in her privileged life, Adelaide Forsyth won't be swept up in it. She couldn't be happier about the prospect of a quieter Christmas. That's not to say her transition from Miss to Mrs. has been without challenge. Though she doesn't regret marrying for love instead of wealth, she can barely light the hearth or cook more than she than burnt toast. She feels woefully unprepared to run her own household. Then, on the first Sunday of Advent, winter winds bring change through two unlikely people, a young orphan boy hiding near Adelaide's front steps and a seasoned housekeeper who seems too good to be true. The boy Jack claims he isn't an orphan at all and is desperate to reunite his family. Adelaide and her husband Howard work tirelessly to solve the riddle of Jack's story, while Adelaide's new ad- endeavours open her eyes to a world beyond her past experience, and all the challenge and possibility it holds. As Christmas approaches, small glimmers of wonder light the way towards the answers Adelaide seeks and the most miraculous gift of all. A Thieving at Carlton House by Erica Vetch releases on the 17th of September and is published by Craigle Publications. Unlikely alliances form when the killer is on the loose, but who can be trusted? The Home Office has asked Sir Bertrand Thorndyke to head an investigation into stolen royal jewels, and as with everything concerning the Prince Regent, discretion is paramount. It's the perfect chance for Bertie to step out of his brother's long shadow. Unfortunately, his superior, the Duke of Haverley, has a plan that makes him bulk. In order to sell his cover, Bertie must play the part of a man looking for love, ready to reform his rakish ways. The Duke is willing to let Bertie name his own investigative team, but his recommendation that the team include Philippa Cashel has Bertie on his guard. Does the Duke, known for his behind-the-scenes machinations, have an ulterior motive? Philippa Cashel escaped her life as one of society's best-known courtesans, devoting her life to helping other women in dire straits. So when Bertrand Thorndyke approaches her about joining his team as an agent of the Crown, she is sceptical. Why her? She's focused on getting her school for underprivileged women up and running, not in cloak-and-dagger skullduggery. Her hope is that if she labours hard enough at her charity work, she might begin to feel worthy of God's forgiveness of her past. When one of Philippa's rescued girls is arrested for stealing the royal jewels and another is murdered, Philippa will risk partnering with Bertie to find the loot and stop the killer. Two brilliant minds with two wary hearts and one cunning deceiver are on a collision course in Regency England. A Hope Unburied by Kimberly Woodhouse releases on the 24th of September and is published by Bethany House. In the bustling world of paleontology in 1916, Eliza Mills defies societal expectations to pursue her passion. Having published her early groundbreaking papers anonymously, she has finally earned her place at the Carnegie Museum and seizes the opportunity to work at Dinosaur National Monument with a renowned paleontologist. But things in Jensen, Utah aren't what they appear. When Eliza gets the chance to dig up bones at a ranch with a dark history, it sparks a chain of events that will rock the very fabric of her carefully constructed world. Devin Schmidt, Eliza's closest friend since childhood, harbours unspoken feelings for her, but knows he will never be able to win her heart. Just as he vows to give her up for good, Eliza begs him to visit her in Utah for another grand adventure. He reluctantly agrees, and within a few days of his arrival, he and Eliza find themselves entangled in a web of danger where the stakes are much higher than they ever anticipated. In a race against time, Devon and Eliza must hold on to God as their hope as they navigate a treacherous terrain of betrayal to unbury the truth and save Eliza from those who wish to see her fail. Of Gold and Shadows by Michelle Greep releases on the 24th of September and is published by Bethany House. 1888 Victorian England, Amy Dalton navigates the clandestine dual life. By day she strives to establish herself as a respected Egyptologist, overcoming the gender biases that permeate academia. But with a heart for rescuing black market artefacts, 
she is most often disguised as her alter ego, the shadow broker. After eight years in India, Oxford's most eligible bachelor, Edmund Price, has come out of the shadows to run for Parliament and is in search of an Egyptologist to value a newly acquired collection. Expecting a renowned Oxford professor, Edmund instead finds himself entangled with Amy, the professor's determined daughter. As they delve into the treasures, their connection deepens, but trouble emerges when a golden griffin, rumoured to bear the curse of Amantuk, surfaces, and they are left to wonder if the curse really is at play, or if something more nefarious is hiding among the shadows. In Contemporary Romance, The Christmas Tree Farm by Melody Carlson releases on the 3rd of September and is published by Ravel. When Madison McDowell returns from several years teaching overseas, she has high hopes of picking up where she left off at her family's Christmas tree farm in Oregon. But between damage from a recent wildfire and the neglect due to her sister Addie's unwillingness to invest, the farm is in sad shape. In fact, Addie is intent on selling the property. And to top it off, her, high sc- her former high school flame, the now widowed Gavin Thompson, has plans to break Madison's heart again by turning his neighbouring property into a dusty, noisy dirt bike track for his daughter. With the odds stacked against her, Madison decides there's only one thing to double down on her dreams. It will take a ton of hard work and some help from an unlikely ally to save the farm she so dearly loves, but it may take a miracle to restore her relationship with her sister. Meddling with Mistletoe by Liz Johnson releases on the 3rd of September and is published by Ravel. Whitney Garrett is preparing to enter culinary school in the spring, but first she has to sell enough homemade pies at the local Christmas markets to to pay her tuition. When her oven breaks, Whitney asks Marie Sloan, proprietor of the Red Door Inn, if she can use the inn's kitchen to keep up with her orders. Marie agrees, so Whitney has to watch the three Sloan children and cook breakfast for the Red Door Inn in return. The inn is busy with holiday guests, including Aretha Franklin Sloan's perpetually single nephew, Daniel, and Ruby, a businesswoman, in town to purchase Aretha's antiques store. Intent on making a Christmas match for the two, Aretha enlists Whitney's help in her schemes, but the deeper Whitney gets, the more she realises that Ruby is definitely not the right woman for Daniel, and the more she thinks she that she just might be his perfect match. Before We Were Us by Denise Hunter releases on the 10th of September and is published by Thomas Nelson. She can't remember, he can't forget. Seven months ago, after graduating with a hospitality degree, city girl Lauren Wentworth travelled to rural New Hampshire to become temporary manager of Pinehaven Lodges, a rustic family-owned resort. What started as just a springboard to her dream job became so much more when she fell in love with the owner's son Jonah, the Landry family and her simple but rewarding position at the resort. Now Now she's reaching towards a different kind of future than she'd imagined for herself, and happier than she's ever been, but then she falls from a ladder. When Lauren wakes up in the hospital, she only recalls her first couple of months at the resort. She remembers her adversarial relationship with Jonah and her major crush on small-town Dr Carson, who also has big and city ambitions, but is unfortunately taken. However, according to everyone around her, she's now madly in love with Jonah and has forfeited the dream job awaiting her in Boston. It seems impossible to believe she could have made such drastic changes in a matter of months. Jonah is heartbroken at her memory loss and determined to help Lauren remember the deep feelings they've developed for one another. But Lauren isn't sure she wants to remember falling in love with someone she doesn't even like or giving up her dream career for a rustic resort in Podunk, New Hampshire, especially when Dr Carson is now available. A Canine Christmas Reunion by Lisa Carter releases on the 24th of September and is published by Love Inspired. Can one special dog make this a Christmas to remember? Struggling to manage his father's dementia while raising two young sons, widower Nathan Crenshaw is desperate for help. That is, until his dad's new service dog arrives with an unexpected guest, trainer Gemma Spencer, the woman who broke his heart 15 years ago. Now Nathan must spend the holidays working alongside his first love and ignoring their rocky history. But when Gemma steps up for his family, after a near tragedy, with old feelings start to resurface, With their future uncertain, can matchmaking relatives and a canine turn the new year into their second chance? 
An Orphan's Holiday Home by April Arrington, releases on the 24th of September and is published by Love Inspired. A Mystery Baby is quite a surprise, but love may be the biggest shock of all. There's no holiday joy for grieving widower Brent Carson anymore, but as much as he wants to shut himself away this season, an unexpected baby on his doorstep means he'll need some help. He turns to the only person he can think of, Zoe Price, the bubbly foster mum next door. She agrees to help, but on one condition, Brent helps her answer the town's dear Santa letters. And to Brent's surprise, the more time he spends with Zoe making Christmas wishes come true, the easier it is to believe there's Christmas hope for him too. The Cowboy's Inheritance by Julia Ruth releases on the 24th of September and is published by Love Inspired. When the big shot from the city meets the farm girl next door, real estate mogul Jack Hart's one goal is to earn his father's approval. Selling his late grandfather's farm could earn him respect and a huge promotion, but he isn't prepared for the fond memories Rosewood Valley still holds or seeing Rachel Spencer again. The pretty girl next door has her heart set on his ranch, but needs more time to purchase it. Now they're working together on renovations, even as they start dreaming of a life together. But for Jack, falling for this country girl means giving up his city life and disappointing the only family he has left. In fantasy and sci-fi, The Burning Tree by Helen Dent releases on the 10th of September and is published by Enclave Escape. There's a secret growing in the woods. In Ellie Caster's town of Bishop's Gap, the Casters and the powerful Levy family have been feuding for generations. The families share just one thing in common. They both dread the mark, a scorch that appears at random on their doors, bringing the curse from the burning tree. When the mark hits Ellie's door, her sister Jean falls into a coma. Ellie knows the burning tree is to blame, and desperate to save her sister, she braves the forbidden woods to confront it. But this choice ignites a chain of unintended consequences, forcing her to work with her nemesis, Charlotte Levy. Together they must complete an impossible task, uncover the ancient secret of Bishop's Gap, and end the curse before time runs out for their entire town. The Immortal Abyss by Catherine Briggs releases on the 17th of September and is published by Enclave Escape, and this is the Threshold Duology Book 2. This is the description of the first book, as this is a duology, running from one to the other. Destroy the key, save her people and herself. The Eternity Gate is found and kings and monsters battle over its legends of treasure, but rumours whisper that someone stole the gate's ancient key. Seiyu, handmaiden to the princess, keeps three secrets. First, she's gifted in fire, not light, and may as well be cursed. Second, she translates a prophecy warning that the gate does not offer treasure, but judgment. Third, Jurai, the scorned prince and Seiyu's confidant, entrusts her with the key and disappears. Surrounded by war, Seiyu and her companions embark on a journey to seek help from a faraway empire and find Jurai, unaware of the trap awaiting them. But what should Seiyu do with the key? Who can survive judgment, especially someone as flawed as her? Will hiding the key or destroying it save her people or ensure their defeat? In contemporary fiction, Low Country Lost by T.I. Low releases on the 3rd of September and is published by Tyndale Fiction. Sometimes what haunts you most is wondering what could have been. Everly Elvis prides herself with being able to fix just about anything except her past. Unable to put the puzzle of her life together, she pours her heart, soul into making neglected places whole again. As the owner of Low Country Lost, Averly spends her days in hot pink car heart over overalls and a tool belt reclaiming low country properties making them beautiful again releases the deep sigh that soothes the hurt she holds Avalie's latest project takes her to tiny somewhere south carolina a long abandoned town she ignores its ghostly folklore but can't miss the shock of hearing the familiar irish brogue that materializes on the job site the voice of the man she never wanted to see again Rowan Murray is a structural engineer hired by investors to oversee the redevelopment of the quaint downtown Averley is bringing back to life. Once upon a time, he was also the man who knew Averley better than anyone else, or so he thought. Turns out he was wrong. Neither of them was prepared for what happened between them six years ago, but as they worked together to complete the rehabbing of somewhere, their broken pieces and the pain that nearly consumed them begin to lose its grip and both begin to wonder if it's not too late for a restoration of their own. And The Colour of Home by Kit Tosello releases on the 24th of September and is published by Ravel. 
Audrey Needham, Bay Area Interior Designer to the Rich and Pretentious, is down to her last nerve, her boss is impossible to please, her future is in jeopardy, and her great aunt Daisy needs support as her husband descends into Alzheimer's. When Daisy enlists Audrey's help preparing for a move to assisted living, Audrey risks her career to return to the idyllic small town of Charity Falls, Oregon, the summer stomping grounds of her childhood. But Charity Falls is, was also the place that broke her heart when her father was killed in a tragic fire at the Sugar Pine Inn 13 years ago. Despite Audrey's intent to avoid emotional entanglement, the pull of home is hard to resist. Something should be done about the t- deteriorating inn. A local girl with an incarcerated father needs a friend. And handsome local do-gooder Cade Carter is colouring Audrey all shades of uncertain. Join award-winning writer and debut novelist Kit C- Tossello in this lyrical and often humorous exploration of how God redeems brokenness and draws us to the life we're meant to find. So those are the books that I could find that are releasing in September. As you can see, this is the month when they start releasing Christmas books. Um, a little early, I know, to be reading those perhaps for some, uh, but that's when they start to publish them so you can go ahead and buy them ready for the future, maybe for gifts for Christmas. Let me know in the comments which of these books that you would like to read in the future. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week and until next time I pray God bless you and your families. Bye!